What's up everybody, this is Danny, and this is the ASUS Transformer Qi T300, and this is a laptop and tablet combo that comes in two separate pieces, and they're easily attachable, so you can use it as a full-fledged laptop, or it's easily detachable, so you can use it as a razor-thin tablet. This is a full Windows 8.1 machine at this time with the Intel Core M processor with eight gigabytes of RAM. It does come in a lower configuration, but this one is the little bit higher end configuration. And the Intel Core M processor is the same chipset that's in the brand new MacBook, which I've made some videos about, so make sure you check those out. If you're familiar with the Transformer series, then you'll know that usually the keyboard component has an extra battery for you to boost up your main tablet component, but this time it's different. This one only has the battery for the keyboard only, and it is Bluetooth this time around. Nothing special about this keyboard dock, just some four rubber feet on the bottom with a matte finish. And when you flip it over, you get your keyboard and you get a toggle switch for the on and off for the Bluetooth. And then you also get your multi-touch trackpad here on the bottom. The tablet portion of this computer is extremely thin, and to give you an idea of how thin it is, here is a Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge next to it, and it's even thinner than that. But even when you combine the keyboard portion, it still remains very thin, so it's very compact. So all of the CPU and components are housed in that tablet portion, so let's go ahead and take a quick hardware tour. On the right side, you get a combo audio jack so you can use your 3.5 millimeter headphones with it. You get mini HDMI, a full USB 3 port, and one of the two stereo speakers. And on the opposite side, you will get the volume rocker, a dedicated Windows key, your second stereo speaker, and your DC in. On the bottom, you get two magnetic slots that hold in your keyboard dock, and then to expand your already included 128 gigabyte SSD, you get a micro SD card slot. And I'm not sure why they didn't do just a full SD card slot, but it's nice to have expandable storage anyway. Then finally, up top, you get a power button and an LED indicator light. The overall design is very nice and it's got an overall uniform metal look so I think that's classy as well and if you like chamfered edges there is chamfered everywhere on this device but there are some downsides here for that metal finish is very very fingerprinty so you're gonna have to wipe this off very often. Like I mentioned before, this is a very compact combo, so it's easily stowable in a small laptop backpack. So if you're looking for a travel companion, this could be a good choice. So what is it like using the T300 as a daily driver? Well, the first portion I'm gonna go over is how it worked as a laptop. So the keyboard and the screen, when they come together, is just like any other laptop. And the keyboard is actually very, very good. It's got nice travel, it's nice and clicky, it's very responsive, so I had no problems with the keyboard whatsoever. So I liked having this freedom. I loved if I wanted to type out a quick email or work on some kind of word processing, I had no problems, just attached it and just started typing away and it made my productivity so much better. The trackpad is pretty good, it's nice and responsive. I wish the trackpad was a little bit bigger, I'm just used to bigger trackpads, and I wish it was just a little clickier and a little bit more responsive, but I didn't have much problems with it whatsoever. However, I did have one major complaint when it comes to this laptop combination. You do get some weird weight distribution because of the tablet portion is much heavier than the keyboard. So you're gonna get a little bit of a rock here. And I wish that the viewing angles were a little bit better and you had more adjustability for that's about as far as it goes back. And just most noticeable when you are using the touchscreen at the same time, because even though it doesn't move, you do get a lot of rocking and a lot of flexing here. So you need to be aware of this. It's not a deal breaker, but I ended up using it more as a tablet than anything else. So this is a fairly large tablet with a display of 12.5 inches. This is a quad HD display. It's got a 2560 by 1440 resolution IPS display, and it is a great one. It's got nice color saturation. It's nice and punchy. It's super sharp. It does get distorted at extreme viewing angles, but for the most part, I really enjoyed the screen. Despite the high resolution though, the Core M processor actually does a very good job coupled with eight gigabytes of RAM. As you can see here, things are very snappy when it comes to just day-to-day -day use, even multitasking and just going through the UI. I really had no slowdowns here. 
I was expecting it to be a little less responsive, so it's a nice surprise that it was so responsive and fast when I was doing my normal day-to-day -day tasks. So this is more like the MacBook, where it's meant to be a casual computer for you to browse media on, which it does a very good job on. Once again, the display is awesome for watching YouTube videos and it plays them back in Quad HD resolution. So it was awesome to watch that. But there is one fault in this media experience and those are the stereo speakers. So I was expecting a lot more from these stereo speakers. The overall output and volume is just very small. And I was just waiting for them to get louder and louder, but you're probably gonna wanna use some headphones or pair them with some Bluetooth speakers. If you're looking for a powerhouse machine that can do some heavy editing and working with photos and videos, this is probably not the machine for you. But if you do some casual gaming here from the Windows Store, like Asphalt 8, it plays them back pretty well. There are some choppier frame rates here and there, but if you go into the settings and put your performance on the highest, it does help with the frame rates. So the video games are very playable on this. The size of the screen definitely helps with the immersiveness of these games. And there's quite a bit of selection on the Windows Store actually for casual games like this, like Sonic. But if you wanna play some real games on this, you actually can, because of course you can install full games. Now I wouldn't go into any kind of graphically intensive game for you're probably not gonna be able to play them very well. But if you play you know, moderate games like League of Legends here, even in this full resolution, you can play it at a very respectable 30 frames per second. So if you're looking to play some moderate games like this, you can do that on this machine. What you'll notice though is on the bottom right corner, that's where the CPU is, it does get fairly warm. And I wouldn't say that it gets scalding at all, but you're gonna notice that it does get pretty warm. What's awesome about the Core M processor is that it is a fanless system, so you will not hear a peep out of this laptop combo. But the one thing that the Core M processor does not do very well with is battery life. And this is the same thing that I've come across with the new MacBook. The battery claims weren't as good. Now, if you use this casually, you can probably get about five hours of use, but me using it very heavily and having the screen up 100%, because to me, that's where the screen looks brightest. It could be a little bit brighter. You might run into some battery problems. I was getting about four hours of use out of it. So I was wanting a little bit more from the battery. And this is where I wish that the transformer was more traditional in the fact that the keyboard portion had an extra battery for you to be able to boost your computer's battery. And that would make more sense and also make this a more powerful road warrior. But there's one consolation, at least you have a HD front facing camera, unlike that nasty 480p one that you get in the MacBook. So kudos to that. The T300 is pen compatible, so Asus does offer a pen that works just fine with the T300. And you can navigate through the UI like that scroll bar on the bottom, and you can easily change your tiles here, which I really liked. And you can just navigate through the general UI here. So if the pen is your thing, then you might like this stylus here. But I wasn't a huge fan of the stylus. There are programmable buttons right here at the bottom of the pen itself. So if you want to draw on this or have drawing programs, it's cool because you can program one of those buttons to erase and you can also hot program those buttons to do something else. So I thought that this was very cool, especially if you were into drawing, make sure you check out that pen. So what do you guys think about the Transformer T300 series? I think it's got a lot going for it, especially the price, because it starts at $699, and even this upgraded version is $899. It's $400 cheaper than the brand new MacBook. It has a beautiful display. It has decent performance on day-to-day -day use, but there are a few things holding it back, like the battery life and no extra battery when it comes to your keyboard dock, and you have to charge that keyboard dock separately with a separate charger. But I think this is still a good Windows alternative for people that want an ultra portable with a little bit extra. So let me know what you guys think about this Transformer Book Chi T300. Make sure you subscribe to the channel for more reviews like this. And follow me on Twitter at Super Scientific if you have any questions. And give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one.